gonna tell me where you went All the messages I sent with no reply It's like that You're just gonna walk into my Hello my stars, welcome back to my channel Goddess of Stars Tarot, it's your girl Karen and I'm so excited to welcome my Aquarius back to my channel. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I do want to let you know this is a general reading and it's not going to resonate with each and every star, so take what does and leave the rest. If this reading doesn't resonate, please check with your other placements, your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus. Also to keep in mind, roles in my readings may be reversed, so apply yourself as you see fit. And don't forget to support your girl by clicking like, share, subscribe and clicking the all option when you click the bell so you can be notified when I upload another reading or when I go live this reading will have an extended okay so to access the extended all you need to do is click the description box below there will be two links one is the membership option link where you can go and access the reading that way the other is going to be a one-time access link you can access the extended that way as well so I've been pushed <laughs> to do this reading and this reading is something that is going to take place here for someone within the next 24 hours and um, I used a few decks to get the pre-energy read and see what is this what is what is happening here so the energy that was being revealed was something is going to be revealed um, and I used this deck which was one of the decks I used and the 11th house came out and Virgo energy. So I'm getting a vibe of something that could have been kept a secret, something that maybe it doesn't even have to be a secret, but something that is needed to be known is going to be released or revealed. Um, Virgo energy is definitely someone who is a person who's all about being within, you know, someone here who may be a little bit more secretive than others, someone here who is always reevaluating situations due to the fact that they're not sure or taking more time to themselves to figure things out um, when you see Virgo energy. So I feel like there's definitely something going on in that dynamic because I shuffled the cards again and I have the 11th house, the 6th house, and Pluto. So there's definitely a transformation that either has taken place or will take place. It could mean some type of ending, but it's definitely all about being in the know. The 11th house is Aquarius energy. So as you know, the age of Aquarius is all about the awakening, you know, things coming to light um, that needs to be revealed. So <laughs> Aquarius, something is about to go down. Okay, I just shuffled in that that fell out. Let's see. Let's see what's happening, Aquarius. Okay, because oh, see, look at I just said it. Last reading, 12th house came out. We have Leo energy. Bottom of the deck is the 11th house. Okay, so definitely something's happening here. Look at that. The next card is Mercury. So I feel, Aquarius, there's definitely something happening here as far as someone may be communicating something to you or you are going to be communicating something to someone. All right. Keep in mind, Aquarius, with this energy, this is all about facing things that maybe you need to confront or maybe someone around you needs to confront this this has been a constant or consistent energy that's been coming up in every single pre-shuffle and I feel like something is in the air you know or there's some type of information here but we're going to get to the bottom of it we're going to get to the bottom of it we have ship let's see what else comes out for some of you this could be a leo but the leo energy is all about taking action right so i do feel like something is going to transpire here and this is the lover's card as well so this is telling me and look at that bottom of the deck is the moon this is telling me something fell on the floor as well so let me grab that aquarius yep mm -hmm. look what it was aquarius let me grab it the snake all right so we have the ship the moon and the snake. So this could be someone Aquarius that you don't trust. This could be someone here that has done you wrong, betrayed you, was deceitful in a situation. 
there's something here that is being hidden, okay? The moon, okay? Didn't I say something is happening here um, that is revolving around someone needing to reveal something to you or you're going to find something out. This energy represents like a snake in the grass, this energy with the snake. This energy also represents someone could be potentially manipulative here. We have um, the moon energy coming through as well. And as you guys know, this is all about emotions, um, you know, following your inner intuition in situations but also too things being revealed deception um needing to confront some things uh, or someone here is avoiding their emotions and maybe needing to confront some things this energy too aquarius is all about uh, for some of you here, your dreams. So pay, pay close attention to your dreams here because something is being revealed to you that you need to pay close attention to. But again, like I said, Aquarius, we're going to get it to the bottom of everything that has taken place. So we also have the ship, okay? This energy is all about travel, okay? So for some of you, this news that you are going to receive could be surrounding travel, for some of you here, this is someone that is traveling towards you, okay? It could be someone from overseas. Maybe you get an overseas phone call. For some of you, for some of you, um, this just means that upon travel, you're going to receive some type of news. For some of you, you're going to receive some type of news from afar. So it's definitely about communicating with someone here. And the news that you are going to hear or the news that's being revealed to you is that of something not being right okay so let's see let's dive a little bit deeper and we're going to get into the energy that is surrounding you aquarius okay so we have balance Ooh, look at that so this energy aquarius is all about grounding yourself okay but as you can see here there's a lot of moon surrounding this person and you can see this person's head is covered in a cloud right so it's almost like using needing the having the need to use discernment in the situation because not everything may be as it seems so someone here is definitely up in their head with a particular situation and not so much in the know of what is really before them or what is really taking place around them you see this person's also holding the moon in their hand so i do believe that there's something here that someone is going to find out or something that needs to be revealed this moon energy too as well aquarius i just heard this as well um this could even be someone here feeling like you know it's becoming too much so they need to reveal something to you is what i'm getting at okay we also have at the bottom of the deck fear Okay, so this is someone here who could be scared of coming forward and expressing something towards you. This could be someone here that may be in fear of your reaction towards the situation. There's a lot of dark energy um, or dark vibe of what I'm getting here. And um, I, we're going to get to the bottom of it, but there's someone that feels like they need to express something. We have the action card. Okay, so someone is in a space of feeling like they need to take action towards the situation. So let's see what's happening here. Yep, look at this. Revelation. Cut the deck. <laughs> Something is happening, Aquarius. Okay, but we're going to get to the bottom of it. So this revelation card is all about discovering things in life. Okay, like things being revealed. Re re the book of Revelations, right? It's like the end. But in the end, all things come to light, right? So I strongly feel someone is <laughs> lurking, Aquarius. Someone is lurking. So let's get to it. Let's get one more. Because I feel like I'm being repetitive in this read. Okay, but this is what keeps coming towards me. So, yeah. I just said it. I just said it. So this is a uh, closed door, endings, letting go, but endings bring new beginnings, right? So I strongly feel like this is a realization for someone in the next 24 hours that something needs to end. Or the message that you're going to receive is that something needs to end. Um, I strongly feel like it's because of someone not being completely honest about a situation or open about a situation or something is coming to light it's almost like 
someone that you completely and utterly trusted is not who they say they are or someone around you is not confronting a situation maybe due to like I said fear here but you also have the horned cactus right and it's so funny because a cactus is very fruitful <laughs> a cactus it when you when you cut a cactus open um there's a lot of nutritional value um, within a cactus it's very um there's a lot of water in a cactus there's a lot of healing energy um in a cactus however to get to that there's you can see all of these spikes all of these thorns here i feel like something that you really and truly want to be good or something that you really and truly want to take place here for you is not what you think it is you know what keeps coming to me is all that glitter is not gold um so i feel like source is telling you to be very careful um about who you are letting in to your energy or how you're dispersing your energy um i strongly feel like this person could be making you feel for some of you entrapped in some way but they're they're telling you to free yourself from a situation that is not serving you in your highest good and your highest power okay um let's dive a little bit deeper because i'm getting a lot of messages but i'm going to wait for a few more cards to reveal what it is that i am feeling for some of you it could be pisces energy coming through here as well okay yeah we have the worry card so it says, I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. So I feel like Aquarius in this situation, it's telling you not to worry, okay? Um, because worry does nothing for you but aid you, to be honest. But it's telling you not to worry because all that needs to be revealed will be revealed in time. Time is very powerful. And I feel like in this situation, something has run its course. Time has ran, ran out or run out. And um, it's telling you here not to overwhelm yourself with the situation. It's definitely telling you to move in a space or an energy of what next, you know, instead of this is happening to me versus what do I do from here? So I feel like the messages do not worry about what is about to come, okay? Because worrying doesn't change the outcome of a situation. So we also have perseverance. Perseverance is coming through. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. And that's what I was just saying, right? Perseverance. And I feel like that was the message. It's telling you here that um, even though something may not be right for you or something is not going the way that you want it to go, it's telling you to keep going. Um, don't engulf your energy in something that could maybe negative or doesn't serve you it's all about moving forward so let's let's dive deeper we're gonna get into the tarot uh, and see what's going on here all right so cut the deck i got hot and cold but we're gonna keep shuffling um it could be someone here that may have been hot and cold towards you and the reason why they're hot and cold towards you maybe because they're not being completely honest with you or this could be you aquarius it as it resonates Okay, but let's see. What's the message you have for Aquarius? Thank you. Again, fear. Fear. Okay, so there's someone is scared or someone is in, in, in a height of worry. Didn't we have fear here? Someone is in a height of worry in the situation. There is fear surrounding um, the situation, but I feel like once someone decides to confront it, it's definitely going to unleash, you know, that block that you may be feeling, okay? I'm getting the word caged, okay? I'm seeing this and I'm, I'm getting the word caged. So I feel like someone even maybe for some of you here stringing you along, okay? And it doesn't necessarily have to be relationship-wise. It just means someone's stringing you along in a way that may be trying to keep you around, but their intentions is not pure, Okay. So let's see. And again, this could be you, Aquarius. So take it as it resonates. What else that needs to be seen? 
revealed. Um, we have back and forth, bottom of the deck again, travel. Okay, so for some of you here, okay, it could be a long distance relationship, it could be something here uh, that you're going on some type of trip, it could be um, for some of you here, a booty call trip, whatever the case may be, okay, I feel like there's news coming towards you, and there could be an energy of an on again, off again situationship, um, is what I'm feeling as well, it could be someone here that, you know, you're always in this back and forth tuggle with the situation with this person, um, or for some of you here, it's a situation where you feel like you can't make a decision, but I feel like something is coming towards you or you're going towards this situation in order to, um, face whatever this is, Aquarius. Uh, for some of you here, it's all about facing your fears and making this happen, but, um, I don't feel like you're going to like how or what is being revealed, Okay. Give me one more. I'm being called to get one more from this. Let's see. All right, let's see what that is. All right, so we have secret meetings, okay? We also had unexpected and we had fed up. So let's let's dive in. Okay, so Aquarius, for some of you here, there could be someone here keeping some type of secret, maybe meeting with someone that they're not supposed to be meeting up with. Okay, this energy represents like side piece, okay, or it could represent, you know, doing something behind your back. It doesn't necessarily have to be side piece because it's all about meeting up secretly or doing something secretly uh, that you are not in the know of. But I can tell you this, Aquarius, someone is definitely had enough um, is what I'm seeing. And I'm feeling like, again, something has run its course and it's that time. I, f I keep hearing time is up. So something is definitely going to take place here for someone as far as they've had enough with the situation and is choosing to cut their losses um, here instead of to continue in something that they don't find to be fruitful anymore. Um, we also have unexpected. So this is unexpected events, sudden changes, unplanned love affair. Okay. So something unexpected is definitely going to take place. You see a rainbow, a rainbow doesn't happen every day. A rainbow happens unexpectedly. And when a rainbow does come, people are surprised and awe, shock, things of that nature. So I do feel like something is about to happen. You can see the lightning here, the storm um, over the rainbow. But again, going back, I still see the beauty in this darkness with this rainbow being here. And going back to this, there's no need to worry in the situation because it's not going to change the outcome of what has already happened. It's all about what do you do from here, Aquarius. So in the extended Aquarius, we're going to dive a little bit deeper, okay? Um, I do want to, yeah, look at that, cut the deck, five of swords, and then we have the queen of cups. Um, I do want to dive a little bit deeper and see what this energy really is, who this is about. Um, we're even going to go down to uh, finding out some initials here as well to see who this could potentially be, what zodiac signs this is evolving around, and, you know, what is the message? What is it that needs to be confessed communicated um here for someone so i will post the link in the extended and you guys can um check me out well, bye i guess you're back are you gonna tell me where you went all the messages i sent with no reply